Death smiles at us all. All a man can do is smile back. Marcus Aurelius. Talking about death isn't small talk, but denying it will not make us immortal. The Denial of Death is a 1973 philosophical psychology book by Dr. Ernest Becker. This book considers why we exist, why we deny our own mortality, and what our existence means. As the title suggests, Becker argues that we are terrified of our own mortality, and hence deny it. And this denial shapes our behaviors, our morals, and our culture. Becker states that humans create culture to distract themselves from the fact that they are going to die someday and feel like they are part of something larger than themselves. Becker reveals that when people feel like they are part of a group, it makes them feel powerful. But this power can make them act in ways that are harmful. Becker goes on to say that the denial of death doesn't ask us to give up on happiness, but rather accept that nothing lasts forever. Above all, he says, be brave enough to face death head on, so you can move beyond meaningless social constructs like nationalism. Becker encourages readers to have faith that there is a greater creative force at work in the universe. This creative force has no name. It doesn't belong to any organized group or religion. It's larger than us, so we should accept its presence and trust that things will turn out okay, even though we're not always aware of what's going on around us. To Becker, this belief is different from man-made religions, because man-made systems cause war, but pure faith inspires peace and virtue. If we all simply believed in something bigger than ourselves, then we would be united and we wouldn't have much left to fight about. My favorite quote from this book is, what man really fears is not extinction, but extinction with insignificance. None of us enjoy the fact that there is a 99% chance that we will not be remembered in 200 years, that all our contributions, our life's work, our struggles, our emotions, all our achievements, in the grand scheme of things, will amount to almost nothing. And the diaspora of religions and beliefs try to provide us with concepts and constructs where we can choose to believe otherwise. But irrespective of whether we believe them or not, I think we should at least take some time to inspect, without the aid of any text or any other person, the meaning of life. Why are we here? Our definite demise, our own mortality, and what we are going to make, given these two facts. Now this book raises more questions than it answers for me personally and I think it's really good because it makes you think of things that you wouldn't usually think about and so I really recommend you to, if you have the time, to pick up and read this book because this book is not a destination with facts or tips but it's really more of a process, a group of thoughts that should invigorate in you something that doesn't really pop up in our everyday lives.